in other news, we have seen a worldwide emergence of so-called Christian militia fighting a back against um, Muslim or, so or supposed Islam forces that are against Christianity. But this has spread right here to the good old U.S. of A., specifically Chapel Hill, North Carolina, where a man, Fred Stephen Hicks, murdered, no, actually executed three young Muslims. Why? He says over a parking space. But how do you murder an entire family over a parking space? How do you not only just randomly shoot them, shoot them in the head? These three people, you had a 23-year-old man who was a dentist um, going to dentist school who actually did work overseas giving free dental work to people in, in other lands. His wife, an architectural student, and her sister, 19-year-old, recent high school graduate, murdered, executed in North Carolina. But we're supposed to believe it's over a parking space. Now, that's what they tell us. But you know what? When this happened, because this happened a few months ago, back in February, right? Mm -hmm. And we've had, how many black stories have we had that's been mainstream media? And I understand how the media works. If it's what I tell you, if it's uh, sweepstakes, fit. For the media, whatever, they're they going to make any story bigger than it really is. That's what they do. Now, I watch all the mainstream media outlets. Do you know not one covered this story? Not one. If it wasn't for the Internet, we wouldn't know. So ask yourself this. Why would you cover stories and put all this attention on stories when a white person kills a black person? So it tells me. Because when I go around black neighborhoods, I see you got Indians, Arabs, Arab. Arabs. Sorry about that. Don't get mad. As the doctors and whatever. So you don't want to. So you like it's like you push it. Everybody in front of the black man all the damn time. So when there's when the white man commits a crime against them, they don't want to make it a big story because they want to keep the animosity between black and white. Because why this ain't a big story. It really should be. I don't understand that either. It's like, um, I mean, this goofy looking motherfucker. It's always a funny looking. Why are the funny looking white people racist? So that means to me, it's like an insecurity. If you are racist, I don't care if you're black and racist, too. I've always noticed that people who just dislike other people, they insecure within themselves. You know, and if I was him, I'd be hey, look at him. He should be a punk ass yeah, punk. You're going to kill innocent him. people. You know, yeah, now, I, I hate that. People Chance to live yet, young kids. I hate that man when someone just, you know, just like the Oklahoma City bomber when he just blew up a whole building, killed innocent people. It's like for what? And he blew up babies that from was them a, white a supreme. Su I ain't gonna even call them supreme. Them white gang members, them white thugs who call themselves Terrorists. supremes, huh? Terrorists. Yeah, and they want to say domestic terrorists, domestic terrorists. Nobody give a damn. Stop saying that they terrorists. Okay, killing black people just because they black. Really, they they use it's like the way they use the word urban to describe black people. When they say domestic, they really saying white terrorists, but they don't want to say white. It, it oh, just, see, yep. It just that's all it is to it. But instead, even then, when or they don't want to say American terrorists <laughs> when they talk about it, they're domestic terrorists. When they show them on TV. They don't show that man we just saw. They show some Somalian-born immigrant working out in Michigan saying, oh, well, he trained in Syria. How many terrorists do you think trained in the American military? And and then also, as you said in your in intro to this, how they try to say it was over a parking spot. This man had hate in him. He had beef with them before. Well, think about all and. and Come on, man. They just be making excuses. Why even make an excuse? Just come straight out and say, we know there's racist people in this country. Why do they always try to hide them? And, you know, like when I'm debating with someone over the media and I say, this media coverage, one of my coworkers brought up the bikers and, and, and he's seen it on the Internet. And I was like, why? Then, why? I tell you see it's different. He started making up all kind of excuses. Well, it's more, maybe. Uh, but you, you, the, I'll tell uh, you why. I can tell you why your coworker made up excuses. Why? Because he's been watching the news, and that's what they do. 
And Think about all those media outlets. We have what thousands of media outlets in America, controlled by what six different corporations. You think they're not all telling the same propaganda? Really? Oh, we know that. And think of all. They do have an agenda. They have an agenda. And there's been violence against Muslims. Even after this happened, it happened in February. In that very week, there were like eight different things all over the country where mosques were being burned, people were being targeted, swastikas, families were being burned out of their homes. None of this made the primetime news. That same week, matter of fact, it got me. I'll tell you what got me. I had to look it up again. Look it up, sister. Look it up. Back in, in February 17th, Molly White, a legislator in uh, Texas, the, the Muslims in the area were having a, kind of a, a rally because it was one of their holidays. It's a scheduled Muslim day in Austin, Texas. And she stated that all of those constituents, these are people who she's supposed to be watching out for governmentally, should have to take a loyalty oath. A what? A loyalty oath. A loyalty oath. What was her purpose of that? What was she trying to say? Y- you know what? I looked at that. When I read that, it, it reminded me of George Wallace standing in the schoolhouse door. It was just what the bigots want to hear. And protesters, all, these people trying to have a peaceful day celebrating their own little thing. And they get protesters all around them. And instead of protecting them from these violent protesters who have weapons coming at them, you're going to say, oh, yeah, you're the one. You should pledge your oath of loyalty to us who have these weapons trying to kill you and your family. That's a damn shame. What sense does that make? Okay. Now, back to your big. everybody. (laughs) Now, back to your big head, man, who killed. I mean, he just killed some innocent people. For no reason. And then trying to make an excuse. And the main reason why we're here is to deal with the media and get behind the media and push the truth out there. And we all know, we all can see, why do you think they didn't cover this story? I just kind of gave you my conspiracy. Why you don't, why you think they didn't cover this story? Because it did not fit the typecast. Didn't fit the narrative. It did not fit the typecast. You had a white man just randomly killing people. Oh, well, it, that doesn't make uh, Islamic people look like terrorists. They don't want to make them a victim. If they're doing voluntary work across seas, doing free dental work, going to school, having businesses, somebody's an architect, a dentist, a, a, a businessman, an engineer, graduate and have good grades, and you just murdered them for nothing, that doesn't fit their narrative at now, all. Now, it would have been a story. If they would have had, they couldn't, now, you know, they did some background on these, these uh, Muslim to see if they was part of ISIS or whatever. Now, if they'd have found something, we'd have heard about we'd it. Heard about they'd have made him a hero. <laughs> Gomer he, Pyle, a hero. He, he he Goober looking motherfucker. He would have brought it a terrorist attack. Oh. You know it. Come on now. You know it. He would have like, been a volunteer, huh? That's why I brought up the Molly White. When been. they were burning, they burned down uh, those people's mosques and plant and swastikas and stuff. They caught the guy who set it on fire. He was just trying to keep warm that night. And so it don't fit the narrative. Just like you heard about your boy, who just got shot, George Zimmerman, right? Too now, if it would have been a black man who shot him, it would have been all over the news. This is what kills me. But it was a white guy. But this is what kills me. <laughs> the man George Zimmerman had rage with a white guy, right? But yeah. No. But think about it. Not to jump subject, Hold but. Hold on a second. Hold on. Stop and think about it, though. He had road rage, right? They called it a case of road rage, right? You mm-hmm. remember that? How are you going to have road rage with the same guy? The last time Zimmerman got in trouble in traffic, it was road rage, and the other driver was the same person. What they trying to set up? What you trying to say? They trying to set something up? No, I'm trying to say this man is just violent. This is a. They gave him an excuse. They said, uh, oh, we know he violent. He murdered a, so a young, innocent man. They calling it road rage like this is some random act that just happened, not a pattern. You don't have road rage. Ain't that funny how they'll try to put any adjective they can find that'll make him look, what they trying to make him look better or worse? Make him look better. I think. Exactly. They'll find any adjective, just like you were saying about domestic terrorists. Okay, they'll put that adjective on it to change the whole construction 
<laughs> you know, of uh, the the topic, you know, it's sitting there. But if you have a fight with somebody in your car that you know it's not road rage, it's a fight. We it's know it's not road rage. Why are you sitting there talking like somebody believe that? You think people believe yeah. believe that other than them dummies out there? They keep Right, because I know what you're saying. Like, they call that road rage, and he's sitting there going like, really? He had an issue with him before? They, they don't want to come out and just straight up tell us that... Uh, Zimmerman's an asshole? Come on. Or these two men, white, got beef with each other. And because they hate each other, they just... And, and they are having legal guns. Oh, they're in Florida. They can shoot up, shoot up, bang, bang. I know. But my that's, that's another point. It's that's legal. That's yeah, man. That's what's sad, man. You get, they just give guns to anybody. You probably you probably got you. You probably packing over there, huh? You better watch yourself. <laughs> you know. So I'm sitting here going, man, look out now to you, that funny looking dude. Let me tell you something, man. You know you have hate in your heart. Why don't you come out? You in jail? Make it like a movie and write a letter, apologizing. Be honest, man. You might can change someone else who has hate in their heart. You might can change them, man. You got hate in your heart. Don't sit there and try to tell us you killed them three people because of a parking spot. Man, be honest with yourself, okay? Be honest. If you love America, because you all y'all try to come off like y'all love America, do something that would make a difference. And that's that. <laughs>